We've already looked at some of the ways where a runner can be called out, and we've also looked at the different ways, all the different ways that a batter can be uh, either put out or called out automatically for something he might do. And so in this video or over the next two videos, I want to look at kind of those rare plays where a, a runner can be called out that we haven't looked at yet. So the, the first way that I want to look at is that after touching first base, and so we should say here these are the runner is out when and and so certainly there are, there are more this isn't all of them like I said we've, we've looked at a few in other videos and this is just kind of the uh, to, to, to fill in the rest of the gaps so the runner is out when after touching first base he leaves the baseline obviously attempting or obviously abandoning his effort to touch the next base. So after touching first base, he leaves the baseline, uh, obviously abandoning his effort to to reach the next base. So this is, I, I think the, the example that the rule book gives here is say on a at the end of a game if a, a, a batter or, or or even not a batter if a fielder uh, or not a fielder a base runner uh, so so we have a base runner on and let's say the the batter would would hit a home run so so he hits this ball and it goes the whole way out here over the fence and the, the the runner then so he starts his jog around the bases and this runner here he makes it to third base and say you know all his his teammates who were on the on the bench they come running out to celebrate and and this runner gets so caught up in the excitement of the situation that he forgets to run home he doesn't touch home so he actually just kind of goes over here to, to talk to his teammates or whatever so so if that's the situation and he does that then he has obviously abandoned his his effort to reach home plate and he could actually be called out on that play so so even on a, a home run and this is just one example and, and certainly there are other ways that this could happen but but even on a home run the run is not automatic the runner actually has to complete his, his trip around the, the bases to score. And if that did happen, I should say that the, the unless if there's two outs, then, then it's kind of tough luck. And that, that the game would then, in the example the rule book presents, that, that the, uh, the team was down by one, then that would be the third out in the inning and they would lose. Whereas, as if that was only say the second out of the inning then the batter he would be allowed to complete his trip around the bases and, and have his run count at least so not to get too caught up on any one of these but that's the first one so the second one is that if the runner intentionally interferes with a thrown ball or a fielder to uh, attempting to make a play on it so the runner is out when he intentionally interferes with a thrown ball or hinders a fielder attempting to make a play on a batted ball. So this is something we looked at in the video about running out of the baseline and that is whenever we have a a, a ball hit say we have a, a second baseman here if he charges up and the, the ball is hit to the second baseman and we have a, a runner running from first to second base the runner here this runner has is basically he has no right to to the baseline he has to let the fielder uh, make the play so so in this situation he is permitted 
as long as the fielder doesn't attempt to make a play on him specifically, he can he can still he can run around him and and reach reach the next base. But if as soon as this this runner either hits him or hits the ball, hits the fielder or hits the ball, then he is out. The third way that we can look at is that if the base runner fails to retouch his base after a fair or foul ball is caught before him or the base is tagged by a fielder. And so this is um, something that would happen when we, we have a situation where a, a batter would, would either be tagging up and he leaves early or he's just, you know, he's stranded between two bases. I think we've, we've mentioned this in a few other videos, but if he fails to retouch touch his base, a base that he was he started the play on, after a ball, and this is a, a fair or foul fly ball, you can tag up on, on either one. It's legally caught before he or the base is tagged by a fielder. And so this one and one other quick note they make here is that this is an appeal play, which is we'll look at um, in a later video. We'll really get into what an appeal play is, but basically the defense has to get the ball, and 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 it's the, basically this isn't this is saying that it's not an automatic out. So if defense doesn't catch it and and point it out to the umpire. So if we have a a batter or a runner here on third base, if he if he uh, is attempting to tag up, say we have a fly ball hit to the outfield, and he leaves the base early, then then be, or, or if he leaves the base before the ball is caught, then then the defense could could do what is called an appeal. And, and they would then uh, touch the base. Uh, and so then the, the, the umpire would say, yes, he left early and, and he's out, or, or no, he didn't. And so, so again, we'll look at appeals in more detail later on. But, but basically what this rule is saying is that if the defensive team does not appeal, even if that runner left early, then he would be safe. He, and so the... the the importance of this appeal is that the defense specifically has to bring it to the attention of the umpire in order for him, for the, the, the runner, to be called out. So the final way we can look at this, this video is the runner is out when he attempts to score on a play in which the batter interferes uh, with the, the uh, play at home plate. And so... So the runner is out when he attempts to score a play in which the batter interferes with the play at home plate. And and so so the rule says that this is, is before two outs, and it also goes on to say that if there are two outs, then the 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 batter is out, is called out rather than the fielder, and the run does not count. So 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 if there, it's before two outs, we call the runner out, and the batter uh, would stay in there. But uh, with two outs, the the batter is out, and no run counts. So so those are four ways there. That, that the, the, the runner can be called out for, and we'll look at the remaining ways in the next video.